For the second day in a row, newly reported coronavirus cases in Indiana were above the 1,000 mark. The race is on to get more shots in the arms of Hoosiers at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. CBS 4's Courtney Spinelli joins us now live. And Courtney, health officials say they are on track to vaccinate up to 6,000 Hoosiers a day. They said that to us today, and in fact, this clinic will be held over a course of 16 days this month. So we'll save people at home the math, but that equals out to about 96 thousand vaccines they hope to administer here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And I'll tell you, they certainly hit the ground running today on day one. Health officials actually are calling this a literal race to work against summer approaching and restrictions easing, as well as those new COVID-19 variants we're starting to hear about. IU Health Director of Infection Prevention, Kristen Kelly, who's actually one of the co-leads on this massive effort here, she tells us this will help work toward preventing a fourth surge. Through her experience at the hospital she works with, she says many of the cases they've been seeing recently are from groups who were not yet eligible to receive their vaccine just yet. She also says the healthcare workers out here administering those COVID-19 vaccines have seen all of the brutal realities of what COVID can do. So for them, this is really special to be out here helping in that vaccination effort. Every shot in the arm here is a patient they will not see in the hospital. I was surprised how quick it went. It was uh, really good. Now, the clinic is operating the same as the recent clinic held by ISDH, where people who are registered show up, pull into a garage bay, and once they receive their shot, take an iconic drive down the track to their 15-minute resting spot. Now, all of the feedback we've heard from people who were out here today is that the process was easy. They really enjoyed being able to get their vaccine at such an iconic spot and that they have no complaints. They would recommend other people do the same if they are looking to get their vaccine. And there's a spot that's open on one of the days here. Courtney, before you go, I, this is the first day of a long stretch of vaccines out at IMS. It's pretty cool. But for who's just sort of getting their vaccine in the coming days, from your observation, has the line been flowing pretty quickly? And what should people be aware of if they're going out to IMS for their shot? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, not too much to worry about from what we've seen, but the line has been flowing really quickly. We were in the bays for a little while watching as people came in to get their shots. And I'll tell you, it was less than five minutes from the moment they pulled in, were asked a couple questions about the COVID vaccine, got the shot, and then we're on their way over to the resting area. We spoke with officials from IU Health and they say from the moment people pull into the gate to the moment they exit is only about 20 five minutes and that includes that 15 minute rest time. So that just tells you how quickly they're able to keep this moving and people don't even have to get out of their own cars. So it's not too bad, Debbie. Oh, it is not. That's very convenient. Sounds like a good plan. All right. Well, just reminder for you, the clinic will continue through Saturday of this week. It picks back up again April 13th to the 18th. All those appointments, though, are booked. The last window with time happens during the stretch from April 24th to the 30th. So if you want to get your vaccine at IMS, you better sign up pretty quickly.